Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today we're going to be talking about how to make your own clothing labels. I have a few different options for you, and this video is updating a post I wrote a few years ago where I only had three options. But since I wrote that post, I've gotten a cutting machine, so today in the update you get a fourth option for making labels. The first method to make labels that I'm going to show you is by using twill tape and stamps. For the ink you use with these stamps, you want to make sure that it is permanent ink, not washable because you want it to be able to go through the wash and stay in place. So I've got a link below in that post to the ink that I used. In addition, if you can't find fabric ink because it can be hard to find sometimes and you may not have time to order it, I have found that fabric markers work well too. You simply take the marker and you use it on the stamp, like you color in the stamp and then you stamp as usual and that lasts, in my experience, as well as the permanent stamp inks. Method number two for creating a label is much the same as how I did this, except instead of stamping, you're going to use the font on your sewing machine to sew the label and sew letters right onto the twill tape. Now, obviously, to do this, you would have to have a sewing machine that can do an alphabet font, but many of them have these stitches included. I recommend stitching onto twill tape or ribbon just in case it messes up on your machine. That way you can redo it on another little piece of ribbon or twill tape and you're not permanently stuck with it or trying to pick out all of these tiny stitches. Make sure that when you are using the font feature on your sewing machine that if your machine recommends it, which mine does, that you switch to a monogram foot before stitching this out. It does feed the ribbon or twill tape a little more evenly and that helps make the letters more visible and easier to read. Method number three. This is my favorite method. This is making custom pieces of fabric and then sewing them in as labels. So all you need to do this is some kind of graphic design software or app. For example, you could use Canva online. You could use on um, iPad, you could use Adobe Fresco, you could use Procreate, basically any app or program that will let you export a photo after you've designed it with text and colors. Then you can upload the photo into myfabricdesigns.com, which is my favorite, personally, custom fabric printing company. Now, this is not sponsored by any of those programs or by My Fabric Designs. This is just where I personally have used these things to create graphics. And after you create your graphic and you upload it, you can order like a fat quarter, you can order a yard, however you want to do it. And then you're going to, after that's printed, you slice your labels apart. I use a rotary cutter and a ruler. And then I iron under the edges and stitch together on my machine. And then this is what the label looks like when it's done. It's just like any other printed fabric in that it doesn't fade unless you soak it in bleach or something like that. Um, and it holds up well to washing and it's generally pretty soft and if you sew close to the edges, I don't find them irritating to the skin. But if you do have somebody that's very sensitive to labels, you can also sew to the outside of the garment. I've done that with my kids' pajamas when they were little and that also helped me be able to tell if they were wearing their pajamas backwards very easily. And then method number four, this is a bonus method since I've gotten a Cricut machine, but any cutting machine that will cut vinyl can do this type of thing. So what you do is you get heat transfer vinyl and you're gonna use, again, whatever graphic design software, it might be the one that came with your machine or something else. You create your label that you want, you put whatever you want on it, 
and then you're going to cut this out of heat transfer vinyl. Make sure that the image is mirrored when you cut it, and then when you place the vinyl and iron it on, it will be the correct direction. So this is a vinyl tag on my shirt here, and that is also very hard to feel, so this is great for anyone with sensitive skin. And that is another option for labels that can work really well. So I hope you found that useful. And if you want to check out this playlist, it is full of clothes that you might want to go stick your labels on.